Now, from our previous sections, we are now quite familiar with Docker. In this section, we are going to focus on security and look at multiple ways to attack Docker containers and Docker implementations. We are first going to look at container specific threat model and then we are going to look at multiple attack vectors after which we are going to have multiple maps where we are going to attack Docker implementations and we are also going to trojanize Docker images. So with that, let's go ahead and look at our threat models. Okay, so this is the very high level threat model where we are using this stride. So we have a bunch of potential attacks. You have spoofing, tampering, information disclosure, denying of service and elevation of privileges. So one of the things that you will observe in some of these have been very much repeated multiple times. So say suppose when we talk about spoofing, okay, if an attacker gains access to the host machine that's running all of these containers, no matter how secure your containers are or no matter how secure your implementations of Docker is, if an attacker gains access to the host machine, they can potentially gain access to all the running Docker containers as well. There are also ways where an attacker can perform spoofing or tampering by trojanizing these Docker images. So we do have a lab where we are going to go ahead and trojanize Docker images and whenever that particular image or that particular trojanized image is run, an attacker will gain the reversion access to that particular Docker container. We are also going to focus more on container breakouts too. So when we talk about container breakouts, okay, we are essentially going to break out a container and we are going to start assessing the host resources. So this is going to include the host process, the filing system and multiple other parameters as well. One thing you will have to be extremely careful about is exposing these ports and services to the container itself. So say suppose if you are going to expose sensitive ports and sensitive services to Docker container and that particular container is compromised, that means your host can potentially be under attack as well. So let us move on to the attack vectors, okay? These are some of the attack vectors for Docker implementations. So the first one we have right here is a vulnerable malicious container. So this is to break out to host to go ahead and compromise the entire host machine itself. So this can include an elevation of privileges to the host where an attacker can start gaining root access to the host machine that is running all of these Docker containers. Or it can also be denying of services against host services. So the attacker could start running multiple services or the attacker could also stop all of these services and try to shut down the entire host machine. So the attacker that we have is a malicious container breakout, okay? This is to compromise other containerized services. So say suppose if an attacker could potentially break out this container, okay? And thereby try to gain access to other containers that are running and trying to gain access. So say suppose, for an example, if you are running a vulnerable application that is using other database that is running on a container, an attacker would try and gain access to your application first. And from that, they would try to gain access to the entire database itself, right? And finally, we do have attacks against the Docker daemon itself. So here what happens is the host machine server. If an attacker gains access to the host machine, they can start performing multiple attacks, launching their own Docker containers or bringing down Docker containers and bunch of other things. So in our maps, we are going to look at variety of these attacks and we are going to look at how we can go ahead and prevent them in the next section as well. See you. Thank you.